We continue to see improvements on the drought monitor week after week. Hello everyone, I'm Chief Meteorologist Mike Hurd with an on demand Storm Tracker forecast update. So the drought conditions have been wiped out across southern Beaverhead, Madison, Gallatin, and Park Counties. A little on the abnormally dry side in the western half of our viewing area, that light brown area between Butte and Helena, that's moderate drought. But the worst drought conditions right now are centered across north central areas of Montana. However, I don't think we're going to stay drought free in many areas because the 8 to 14 day outlook as we head into July, at least the first half of the month, is a warmer than normal for temperatures and below normal for precipitation. Now that's the first half, but that's the classic pattern for the back half and into August. So I'm expecting drought conditions to begin to worsen around the region instead of improve. Not a lot of moisture out there in the short term, but we will keep an eye out for a little bit of a front that could drop in late Saturday and into Sunday. So let's take a look at your future cast, mostly on the dry side for the remainder of today. There could be a few very small, isolated late afternoon thunderstorms Friday. Should be short lived and gone in a matter of moments. And then Saturday, we got a disturbance moving in from the north, but right ahead of that, we are picking up some moisture out of the south and west. So Saturday afternoon, Saturday evening, there will be a few thunderstorms rumbling around the region. And it does appear that Sunday into Monday, there will be additional late afternoon thunderstorms rumbling through the region. So Butte, even though I've got mostly sunny Saturday, it won't be like that for the entire day. Watch for those late afternoon thunderstorms. The probability is slightly higher by the end of the weekend and into early next week. For Bozeman, again, keeping a chance for thunderstorms alive Saturday, Sunday, and into Monday, but mostly dry Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Dylan, a few rumbles are possible here and there, mainly mountain-based, but lots of 70s and 80s for max temperatures in West Yellowstone. I'll keep you hovering in the pleasant 70s with a few low 80s mixed in, 30s and 40s for overnight lows.